Hey guys, this is Dr. Samir Islam. I want to thank you for joining me tonight. So tonight we begin our series on celiac disease. Uh, this is Celiac Awareness Month, and during the next couple of weeks, I'm going to be discussing uh, topics about celiac disease, what it is, how we diagnose it, how we treat it, and how this disease can be confused with other conditions, including, including gluten intolerance, maybe even IBS as well. But tonight I will talk about what exactly is celiac disease. So when we talk about celiac disease, celiac disease is considered an autoimmune reaction against gluten. Now gluten is a protein found in wheat that holds wheat together. And whenever you ingest gluten, it is an autoimmune reaction against that particular product. And so that causes a reaction within the body because your body seems to attack the particles that are associated with gluten and cause some damage to your small intestine. Now damage is actually loss of the villi of the small intestine. So our villi have these uh, our, our small intestine have these villi just like my hands and they are used to absorb certain nutrients, vitamins, and minerals. Whenever you ingest gluten and you have celiac, these villi get sheared off so you don't have them anymore. So because of that, you actually are, are having difficulty or the inability to absorb those vitamins, minerals, and nutrients as well. And so whenever you have your normal small intestine, you ingest whatever substance you may be eating and that gets absorbed through the villi that are, that are there. But whenever you have celiac disease, that gluten gets rid of those villi, so you cannot absorb those nutrients like you did before. And so because of that, you can present in many different ways, whether it's anemia, vitamin D deficiency, diarrhea, bloating, upset stomach, indigestion, and even in some patients, constipation as well, because of the inability to absorb those minerals, vitamins, and nutrients. Now, whenever you lose those villi, that can manifest in multiple different symptoms, whether it's GI or non-GI related. Now when I talk about celiac disease, this is a real condition that people have. This is an actual autoimmune inflammation that occurs within the gut. This is very different from other conditions you maybe hear about. Hear about. And so celiac disease, it really is a real disease that people have. This is different from either IBS or gluten intolerance. Now when I also say that celiac is a real disease, about 2% of the US population has celiac disease and the number is increasing. But keep in mind, to only 2% have this real condition. So 98% of the patients who are out there in the United States do not have this autoimmune reaction. And they may have some intolerance to wheat, but they don't actually have the autoimmune reaction where you lose the villi whenever you ingest gluten, which is specific to only celiac disease. And like I mentioned before, this is very different from gluten sensitivity. The differences are mainly the reaction that people have to gluten and the damage that's actually occurring within the small intestine. I'll discuss this in later talks as well. Now the GI symptoms of celiac disease can range from a multiple different things, whether it's uh, diarrhea, constipation, bloating, nausea, vomiting, and even stomach pain as well. And the way we diagnose celiac disease can be through a different testing, whether it's blood testing, genetic testing, or even endoscopic biopsies as well. It's a combination of these different tests that gives us the diagnosis of celiac disease or not. And if you have this testing that's formed, we, need, we may need to do confirmation tests to make sure you actually have celiac because one test could be positive and the other test could be negative and you may not actually have celiac disease. So it's a combination of blood testing, genetic testing, and maybe even endoscopic biopsies as well. And the combination of these different testing will give us an idea of exactly um, what's going on.